here from JT's Funko Finds. Uh, welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber or welcome to my channel if you're watching my videos for the first time. If you are, then head on down, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss out when all my future videos will drop. All right guys, so it's getting hot now. It is the hot items that I think have been released from San Diego Comic Con this year in 2020. And um, they're, they're my, you know, they're gonna probably fly off the shelves. You guys are gonna queue up outside to try and get these pops. Uh, you're gonna wait online. You're gonna hope that the um, the website doesn't fail on you and that um, you don't miss out on your chance to grab these guys because I think these are gonna be the hottest pops coming out of this year's San Diego Comic Con. So, all right, you've seen my media, you've seen my, my warm, um, you know, sitting on the fence. You've hopefully watched my cold one as well. So you've got a probably a good idea of knowing what is in this hot, uh, hot, too hot to handle uh, episode. So uh, let's get cracking. All right, guys. So we're going to start off with Masters of the Universe, Blast Attack and Clawful. As you can see here in my disc, uh, photo, I've got um I've got these guys down there shared with uh, Toy Tokyo, another company you guys are probably going to pull your hair out with in hope that you can get them. But I know how popular Masters of the Universe are, so I do think these ones are going to sell quite well. Um, the soda cans that are in these as well. So you've got, uh, what is it, Trapdoor and Mossman, which I think is flopped. Uh, they are exclusive to 3,000 pieces as well. Now, I don't believe the soda cans come with chase variants. That is my Debbie Downer um, from this San Diego Comic Con. I wish they did because that's what actually makes it, you know, the hype about these soda cans really fun because you don't know until you actually open it up after you've bought it and once you've opened it, you've cracked it, you've looked in and, you know, you've found out if you got one or not. So I'm a bit Debbie Downer on those, so they could have probably been in my, I guess, uh, my, my medium heat, my just sitting on the fence um, for this year's Comic Con, but I've left them in my um, too hot to handle purely for the fact is it's Masters of the Universe is very popular, so I do think these guys are going to do quite well. All right, after that we've got uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. You can't go wrong. It is, uh, I guess, a childhood gaming favorite of mine. Um, you've got Super Tails and Super Silver in a two-pack. Um, now, we all know how well two-packs did last year, in last year's con. Um, now, there is a, there's some mixed reviews on this. Some people are saying that, you know, it's probably just not gonna do that well. But I think it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I think people that are collectors um, of the old school games uh, are gonna wanna have this to add to their collection. So I have put it in this category. I do think it's gonna do well. And um, this one is shared with GameStop. So we we don't know, we'll, we'll find out. We will find out together how well this one does. And um, I do think it is one I'm probably going to purchase. I probably won't get Master of the Universe just because I'm not big on that. Um, but this one I probably will grab my hands on. All right, now uh, these two I know the next two are super popular in terms of the TV show. Uh, we're talking about the animated series. Uh, we've got Dragon Ball Z, we've got Super Saiyan, God Go Goku. Um, now this looks really good. They have done a really good pose um, with this one. Uh, not gonna lie, I did get into Dragon Ball Z as a kid, but I have not followed that through. Um, but I do know a lot of fans out there that are big Dragon Ball Z fans that are into the anime. And um, this is gonna, I think, be another one that you guys are gonna be waiting outside to try and get um, or online. And um, yeah, I think it, really, it looks really good. It is just not one that I will pick up myself. All right. Um, now, and I know a few fans out there that love this anime as well. So I haven't got right into it. I have watched a couple of episodes. So um, don't be mean at how I drop this name, but I think it's Baku, Bakugou, Bakugou, My Hero Academia. Um, sorry, Chris, the pop chaser. I know you love your My Hero Academia, so I may have said him completely wrong, but I think um, his pose looks insane. I think this one is going to sell out like crazy. Um, 
I know there are so many My Hero Academia fans out there. Um, I'm not one of them. I have watched a couple of episodes, uh, but I do think this one, you guys are going to be queuing up, waiting online, hoping that you can get your hands on this. Um, I do believe it is a, a too hot to handle uh, pop that's just been released by Funko for this Comic Con. Uh, like the pose in itself, just like if I was into the anime, which I'm, I'm just not, I'm not into anime, but if I was, this would be definitely something I would grab my hands on. Um, but yeah, I know that's going to fly out the doors, that's for sure. All right, guys, now this is something I am definitely getting. I cannot wait. Um, you will see in another video um, as to why I just love this movie. And I, I do, it's like two movies combined. You'll know what I'm talking about. And that is... Um, the re Alien remix. So Kevin, um, uh, Alien as Kevin. I this is uh, shared with uh, Box Lunch. I know this one is going to be super popular. Every, not everybody, but I would say a good portion por portion uh, of the Funko community love their um, up movie. If you're a Disney fan, uh, Pixar, and uh, I know I will be getting my hands on this as much as you know as soon as I can. This is one of my top. I'll be waiting out for this one to come out. So this is, um, uh, yeah, Kevin uh, from Up, um, well, Alien as Kevin uh, from that remix um, series that they just dropped recently. So this will complete um, a set that I've got coming and uh, I cannot wait. So that's that will be my top priority. Along with this next fella, um, I absolutely love it. Um, I do think a lot of people are going to get this one as well. And this is Michelan Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur Turtles. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Um, now, he looks cool. I love it. I love that they've done the surfboard. Um, I love how they've made this. Because it is a summer convention, they've made it that summer theme with the um, con sticker on the, um, on the surfboard. Now, check out his pants. He's got the pizza. That is awesome. I cannot wait for this one to drop as well. I will be trying to get my hands on him for sure. Uh, so this is another one that will be definitely getting into my um, hands. All right, next one. I know this one's going to be quite popular, um, purely for the fact as well that they've only made 3,000 of these. And I believe it might be the first one that they have made, and that is Black Lightning. So you'll see on the top, uh, this is what Black Lightning looks like. And I think they have done an awesome job. Uh, it looks really cool. I love the pose. Uh, this pop has got really cool detail. And being the first one and unlimited to 3,000 pieces, this is going to be another hot one that is just going to fly out. Um, I feel sorry for the ones that miss out because I believe they are going to. Uh, the world, we've got, we've got flippers in this world. The ones that do get them are going to probably yes put this up at a big price and the ones that really wanted it are probably gonna pay that price unfortunately so um i do think this one is going to be a too hot to handle uh pop as well now uh this one was on the fence for me um but i have left it in here um and that is cyborg cyborg superman um it's an awesome pose i'm loving the detail in it um, I do think this is going to be sitting on the fence. I just don't think people are going to race out to try and get this one. But uh, I do like it. Uh, it's not one for me. But um, I do know, obviously, with your DC, your Superman fans, you guys are going to try and track this one down. Um, I just don't think it's going to race out the door. But I could be wrong. Uh, next up, it's in the same same photo as this. These are the last two. And that's Razzle Ghoul. Now, I think... I also think as well, this is the first pop they have made just like Black Lightning. Um, but it is like, it's not in a movie version, it's a comic version. Uh, I think this pop looks really, really cool. I like it. Uh, it won't be coming into my collection, but I do think it will go into a lot of people's collections. Um, it looks really cool. Um, I love the detail in it, on it, but um, yeah. So that's another one of my two hot to handles uh, there. Now this one I might try and get. I actually don't have any of him in my collection. Um, I'm still quite new, um, and I, I've kind of gone down two avenues, being uh, Wonder Woman and Disney, 
and uh, so this one doesn't go, fit in this one but i know this one is going to uh, be very very popular and that is the stan lee uh from the uh from the avengers uh, the iron man cameo um dressed as hugh hefner now that's you know, my take on it um but I do think this is going to fly out the doors. I think this is going to be very popular. There is lots of Stan Lee fans out there. And, um, you know, most of them will have all of the Stan Lees. And so you're not going to miss out on this one. I would probably try and get it myself as well. Uh, but it is not at the top of my list. But it is there. It, it is something that I think, um, yeah, if I can get it, I will. All right, guys. Um, two more to go. And that is, let's go with this one first. And then um, we'll go with Anchorman in the series of five bundle. Now, uh, well, it's not a bundle. It's, you know, five of them that are all in this one screenshot. Uh, you got the one I will probably try and get is the Ron Burgundy in his traditional red suit. Um, that would have to be my favorite. Um, and then you've got the other two, him in his um, pajamas with his dog Baxter. And um, don't know what he's doing with the other one. I can't remember, but um, you've got the other one, I guess, with that um, po uh, you know, pose he's got there. Uh, but then you've also got uh, Brick Tanglem as Steve Carell. I think he's holding a banana there. Um, he, is, he is so funny in this movie. Um, so, yes, I think that one will, one will do well as well. And then you've got Brian Fantana, which is centered. Now, I recall he was big on his cologne um, in the first one, but... I, I don't know what this one's going to be centered as. Uh, could be very interesting. And I do think another one that, I think if you're gonna get Anchorman, you're probably gonna get all, try and get all five of them uh, because Anchorman is an absolute classic comedy. It is um, it is so good. I love the movies and um, I'll probably be trying to add a couple of these to my collection as well. And then uh, last but not least, I think um, this one will do very, very well. <coughs> Uh, sorry, and that is purely based on the movie because it is an absolute diehard with um, a lot of fans, and that is the Back to the Future. Marty McFly checking his watch in that traditional movie poster pose. This, I think, is going to sell out very quickly. Um, people love the Back to the Future range. There's that new range coming out, um, this new series coming out in Funko Pops. Um, I think the old series uh is gonna probably come up in price and this one is going to sit quite nicely in a lot of uh i guess if you're um, not a big funko fan but you're a big movie buff you're probably going to jump on this for the fact of it's in that you know that iconic poster pose checking his watch um and i th yeah i think this is going to do very well as well uh can't remember where he is exclusive to or uh, well, shared with uh, let me have a quick look. Uh, Walmart. So uh, he will be shared with Walmart. And um, I think he will do very well there. Uh, Anchorman, I forgot to mention, he will be with uh, Funko Shop. Uh, Stanley, uh, where is he? He is exclusive to Target. So I think that would be very popular. So there was only uh, two exclusive to Target. And uh, two to Entertainment Earth, and then you've just got a couple uh, shared out throughout all the other shops like uh, Hot Topic, uh, GameStop, Walmart, Toy Tokyo, which I think is going to be a bit of a hair pull for some people. Um, and then you've got all the others. All right, guys, so they were my uh, hot to handle, the ones that I believe are just going to fly through the door and, um, you know, too hard to get a hand of handle hand on um if you're very lucky good luck i hope um you do get the pops that you want from this release but apart from that guys i hope, I hope you've enjoyed these videos if you have then drop us a like um if you like this video uh head on down uh, leave us a comment let me know what you preferred out of all these uh if you think i probably put some in the wrong places uh if you uh tell me which ones you're gonna try and grab i'd like to see what you guys are going to be going after and um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you know when all my future videos will drop all right guys that's it for me today i hope you all stay safe and have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next one see you guys